Hi, welcome to the Andrew Buckle book review of Tales from the Crypt. This is, of course you can see, the French version. This is the French version. It's 79 euros. Uh, came in at 64 pounds in the UK. And you can see the company there. You can see their website. You can go and check their website. They've got a vast number of other EC books as well. Now they've only got, I think, two volumes in this style. Tales from the Crypt and also, I think, Weird Science. Now this comes in at 888 pages. Now it doesn't include any articles, which is a disappointment. I must admit, it's probably the slightest, slight disappointment in this. There's a few minor things that I think that that's uh, no articles. But you've got there, you've got all the summary. Of course it's in French. So if you're not happy with French, then you're gonna obviously be gonna be struggle with this one. But uh, still, you've got all the stories. And I assume that they are, because it doesn't actually break down the issue. So you've got here, it doesn't say Tales from the Crypt 35 or 34, 33, etc., etc. So I have no idea. It's just got the listing. You basically just got the listing there. It says that obviously 820, 828, 835. You've got success story. It's weird, some of them are obviously in English. Strange. And But the artwork is absolutely crisp. I think that's just, and I haven't got, unfortunately, the Russ Cochran version. If I had the Russ Cochran version, I probably wouldn't have bought this. But uh, I can't compare it. So in this, it's gonna be, I think it just looks super sharp. Now the binding is, looks absolutely first rate, typical, brilliant French book. French books are always good. Paper quality feels absolutely. There is a, if you obviously hold it up to light, you can see through it. It's not like super that thick that you can't see the other page. I mean, I can just about make out the other page but it's uh, just to point it out, because I know some people like the paper to be so thick that they can't see through the next, but it's, you, you know, when you're looking it up like that, you can't really see the other pages. So it's not like a, but it's really very nice quality, very large size, all the stories, I assume all the stories now, I'm again, haven't gone through them, ticking them off to make certain that they're all included. I'm certain some people turn around and say, page 245 is not in the right order or something. <laughs> I don't know. Don't hold me on any of the page numbering or whatever. There's always going to be some issue that sometimes you suddenly think, oh, okay. But to me, casual look through it. It looks absolutely brilliant. Very nice. Yes. But again, another problem is, of course, it doesn't put the actual covers of the stories as it goes. It's just literally the stories, constant stories, constant stories, which are great, of course. I mean, it's just, they are classic stories and uh, no... Uh, Thing. But of course the covers at least break it up so you can sort of like say, nor are any adverts. So if you want like the adverts and things, there's no adverts here in the letters pages, the sort of, all those sort of stories, the text stories, nothing of that has been included, which is odd. But it does include some bonus material, which is very nice at the back. You've got Tales from the Crypt there. So you can see you've got the pictures and also you've got some original art pages as well which is always quite nice as well. Not many, but a few. There you've got they are, number 46 there, Tales from the Crypt. And you've got there, uh, number 38, 31, 21. So you've got lots and lots of them. Let's just show a few more examples. You've got some of the classic ones there. Now, I don't know if it includes them all. I assume it includes all the covers. 21, 19, that's Crypt of Terror, of course, and Crypt of Terror. And then you've got that one as well. So you've got there, so it's a real nice quality book, obviously hardback, you can feel it's a, a nice sturdy hardback. I think it just is beautiful, an absolutely beautiful book. However, let's just go through and go through examples of the other ones in this thing. Now I've got this one, Doctor of Horror. Now I'm just gonna go through uh, obviously fan graphics one. This is fan graphics and you can see the quality of the art. I always find fan graphic ones and people of course, please put in the comments whether you think otherwise, uh, slightly, thicker line. I'm never so keen on the, the black and white's fine. I mean, I've got quite a few of them. I really love these and they're great to pick up, read. Got some interesting articles, love articles. But also these ones don't include the adverts either. So uh, you've got their Haunt of Fear, Heads Up, etc. So you've got that. Now you've also got the Dark Horse one. This one is Saddle Justice, EC Archives. Very nice one. This does have the articles, which I always love an introduction, etc. Obviously the storage. But of course you've got the colouring, the modern colouring. Lots of people don't like this. And of course you can get uh, other, obviously the reprints, etc., to actually have them in slightly better format of colouring. I'm not mega fan of this colouring. I'm not saying I don't 
have a problem with it. It doesn't worry me. But I always find that actually the colouring sort of takes away from the actual art in terms of the illustration, the actual black and white. But it does have, of course, these things. I love these ones where you've got uh, the articles and, and the adverts and things. Bad skin, very true. Moon Girl and these sort of things as well. Surefire winners. Moon Girl, Crime Troll, Social Justice, Gunfighter. And, of course, Gunfighters, think out fairly soon. And many others. So you've got that. And, of course, you've got all the pictures on the back of those. Now, also, of course, recently you've got this one. Tales from the Crypt. Now, when I say I haven't got Tales from the Crypt, I have got Tales from the Crypt. But I've got this one, the colour version. Now, whether I'm going to get all the colour versions now, I don't know. It's going to be one of those things. But they're like about £12, £13. Not excessively expensive. So they're great stories. So the colour one's there. But colour does take away, I think, from the actual artwork. But you do have, the, obviously, the great covers there again. And that's obviously about the same sort of size. No. It's a bit smaller, obviously you can see a bit smaller than this massive crypt one. Now you've got the Modern Love one. Let's just go for this one, Modern Love. Now I haven't got a game, like I say, the Russ Cochran version, so I just thought, let's get... Now the Russ Cochran ones are great, but they are... Drop, ooh, vacuum, sort of, what's your name, when you're trying to get them out, you have to like drop them so they sort of come out, eventually come out. Sometimes they will resist coming out. Also, they, of course, I love the box. That's the one thing, that, of course, that adds that lovely quality there. But it's all, all the dents, of course, all end up on the box more than the actual thing. These are all, I think they're just beautiful, beautiful books. Absolutely my favourites. Even more so, of course, than the French ones, probably. It's, uh, you know, it's, you know, fine. Oh, bit of dust there. However, I mean, it's, the paper quality is slightly different. I mean, it's a, it's a nice quality paper. I, I still think it's, you can still see through, of course, the paper. It's not super, super quality paper that uh, you can't sort of see the other, but it's still very, very sharp, as probably as sharp as you're ever gonna get, unless, of course, you go for the artist edition, you can see there, the artwork there. And, but it does include lots of other things, which is great, which is this sort of stuff. We've got the little articles or interviews, etc. That's uh, a nice special touch. And of course, you've got two volumes in this. You've got the saddle, Mon Moon Girl romance and saddle romances. So you've got that and Finally, I'm just going to quickly show you the next example, which is, of course, the bigger format. And that shows the comparison with this and this. So let's just drag this over the way. A ton. You can see it's gigantic. You can see that. So it's still quite big, but the uh, EC1 covers are even bigger. And, of course, because of that, you've got Tales on the Crypt. I mean, I think it's just, you can see Vault of Horror, etc. Just, you can see it in the big, big format. Just brilliant. This is just weird science, etc. As huge as you're ever gonna get. Unless someone brings out a mega size one that's even bigger than the original art pages, all cleaned up and done by computer program to make it even more superb. Big poster size, you know. Probably size of a house kind of size pictures. That would be probably getting excessive, wouldn't it? However, that's that for that. But this book is lovely. I have to say, it's absolutely great. I'm really glad I got it. And I will enjoy reading through these stories. I mean, it's uh, also, it's nice to be able to get back and uh, really go through quite a lot of this French, which is really, really, of course, there's the odd word, of course, I think, what? <laughs> and I think I've no idea. And now I have to look it up. And, uh, but most of it is relatively easy to read. So, Tales and Grip, absolute gem, real ways done, 888 pages of pure EC joy. Totally recommended.